Well, watching TV in a magazine sounds like a bizarre concept, but the next time you open an Entertainment Weekly, you will get to preview the new shows that will be on CBS this fall. And as CBS 2's Dave Malkoff shows us in tonight's 615 Spotlight, it's all thanks to a local company. The next issue of Entertainment Weekly is about to change the industry by putting TV right into the magazine. But only for subscribers in L.A. and New York. You're combining uh, the medium of print with video. We're actually in Entertainment Weekly. CBS Television and Pepsi hired L.A.-based Americhip to figure out a way to squeeze the new fall lineup into paper pages. In this case, we've loaded uh, about 25 minutes of video. So, for example, there's the very beginning. This remarkable piece of technology you're looking at. It's like a, basically just like a remote. Goes right to the next video clip. You're funny. Thank you. And pretty. Okay. So this is the guts of the device right here. The lithium-ion cell phone type battery down there lasts for about an hour before you have to recharge it through the USB port over here. But the fact that it is USB means that consumers can not only recharge the device to watch videos again, but you can put your own videos on here and use it over and over again. That's how I got in here. Well, I heard there's a wedding. This was someone's wedding album. I wish them health and happiness and love. What they can do now is they can shoot the video right at the wedding, download it into the book, and give it to the bride and groom as a gift right at the wedding. That same day, you see, the first step in combining books and TV begins when the September issue of Entertainment Weekly hits mailboxes. We're actually launching these next month. These relatively cheap cell phone screens mean video is about to be in everything from junk mail to your kid's next sports trophy. Same thing with the soccer ball, basketball, football. Yeah, these devices will be everywhere in the next few months to a year, including with your check at the end of the meal, proving you can't go anywhere without seeing a commercial. In Gardena, I'm Dave Alcoff, CBS 2 News. Time now to check in with Johnny Mountain. Johnny, do you remember when your television set was just a giant chunk of furniture and it had a stereo in it and giant knobs? And I hope you do. Yeah. That, we call that a radio. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally they put a picture in it. it was Isn't it amazing, though? It was like an, like an amoir. You know, it was exactly. a huge thing. It's All a right. furniture. <laughs> We've got the uh, two-view Doppler in HD, which is, by the way, very small. It's not like a big thing at all.